breaking news. Obama business raided. Going to prison. It's evidently clear that Democrats have had a lot to hide for some time and were desperate to protect their secrets by replacing one criminal in office with another one. Now that Barack Hussein Obama is a regular citizen, he's no longer able to get away with his sleazy scandals and President Donald Trump is doing his part to blow the doors wide open on all of D.C.'s big criminals. You can pretty much bet that anything with Obama's name on it is not good and one Obama business just proved that after it was discovered what it was actually a cover for. Someone is going to prison and it will not be fun for them, as a long overdue raid was made and uncovered worse than we thought. It all went down in South Carolina this week. They really had it coming. Wisp reports. The owner of a well-known gas station in Columbia has been arrested and charged with tax evasion, the state's Department of Revenue said in a statement on Tuesday. Der investigators charged Mira Dalhanik, owner of the Obama Mart on North Main Street, with four counts of sales tax evasion. Investigators say Dalhanik failed to pay more than $136,000 in sales taxes over four years. Alhanik, investigators said, evades taxes by underreporting sales from 2013 to 2016. Alhanik faces up to five years in prison and or $10,000 fine for each count. The Obama gas station began turning heads in 2011 when Alhanik bought the station and rebranded it to feature the 44th President of the United States. Alhanik said in an interview months after he rebranded the store that he saw an uptick in business. I see more people come in, Alhanik said. Excited with the name. No surprise that Alhanik, a Muslim immigrant, would name his business after his Muslim hero, Obama. After all, the former president helped him get to America without a care in the world of how it would affect natural citizens. Obama sees no problem with lying, cheating, and stealing so his name is perfect for a business that operated under the same dishonest intentions. Steadfast and loyal reports of what the entitled Obama dreamer had to say about his business he was especially proud of. He said in an interview after the rebranding began getting noticed that he actually saw an uptick in business. I see more people come in, Alhanik said. Excited with the name. Now. Alhanik has been arrested and charged with tax evasion according to the state's Department of Revenue in a statement released this week. Specifically, DER investigators have slapped him with four counts of sales tax evasion, saying that he's failed to pay upwards of $136,000 in sales taxes over four years. They're also alleging that he's underreported his sales between 2013 and 2016. In a recent statement, the department says Alhanik filed monthly sales tax returns reporting a total of $971,935 in gross sales. However, the DER investigation revealed actual sales to be $2,688,533. Due to the underreported sales, the defendant evaded paying $136,753 in sales taxes due to the state of South Carolina. He's currently being held at the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center and is facing up to $10,000 in fines as well as up to five years in prison. In January 2017, Alhanik told the Post and Courier that he would never change the name of the store despite Obama not being president anymore because it's still history. Are you really surprised that someone so supportive of former President Obama would be arrested for tax evasion? It seems par for the course if you ask me. This is the Obama legacy he earned and the gas station perfectly represents what he accomplished in office, allowing criminals to flourish and creating more of them. There's a new sheriff in town now and he's not letting people steal from the system like Obama did, he's creating tax breaks and incentives for people working hard. If businesses are being created in presidents' names that represent them, Trump's should be a bank, while Obama's name is good to stay on this illegal business. Also. As long as people are getting busted and locked up for their scams and scandals, maybe Barack and Hillary could be Alhanik's cellmates. Boetic justice was served with this business owner's arrest, he can thank Barack for leading him down the wrong path by his example and then leaving him there to deal with it. Barack is not going to bail this guy out, 
he's long since forgotten the honor of his face and name on his dreamer's gas station. Hopefully Alhunik remembers that as he sits in his cell for the next several years. Several years.